Hey guys, this is Schism and we are back on Hermitcraft Feed the Beast. Let's take a look at what we've been doing and what we've found. Wondrous things, wondrous things, people. Holy crap. Uh, first of all, you may be notice, may, may be notice, <laughs> you may be noticing that I am flying. Not, well, I'm literally flying from the jetpack, but I'm also running crazy fast. What the f Did you see that? That wisp just appeared. Are you a good wisp or a bad wisp? You're a dead wisp is what you are, baby. Yo, yo, oh crap, though. Holy crap, baby. Oh, you're done. Let's get your meat. So, check it out, guys. <clears throat> Excuse me, let me clear my throat for the big announcement. Um, I'm wearing my boots to the Traveler with haste three. Also, Feather Falling 4, so I never take damage. Look at this. Ow! Did that hurt? Not really. Just pretended like it did. Uh, haste 3 on the boots. Uh, haste is a new Thumbcraft enchantment, so I put that bad boy right on my boots. These, I think these are the fastest boots you can get in the game. Without getting the, uh, like the quantum leggings and everything, all that crazy stuff. This is really good. I definitely recommend this. Um, I use that crazy good... Uh, mob grinder that we have at spawn now and the flux is flux fluctuating a lot lately which is also weird um we're not in dangerous mode anymore down here but we're still in high mode <laughs> and i just killed that wisp so it probably didn't help uh so yeah let's take a look we have adjusted what's going on down here we're a little off center which i just realized which sucks but you can't center two with three so we'll have to figure out something with that um oh man oh man there's so much to talk about okay check it out nom 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 this guy is the hungry <clears throat> oh my god i'm choking again i have to edit those out this guy is the hungry chest now i eat now i eat this is the hungry chest guys they uh, are down here, right in front, because when we throw in something schmeltable, I have zero things that fit that bill. Uh, if we throw in, well, I don't want to, okay, we've got nothing. But when you throw items in now, just like you saw before, they get spit out, but now the hungry chests are going to gobble them up. I have to start making golems. Uh, I haven't made any golems yet, which is stupid, since I'm going this far in Thomcraft. But uh, yeah, I'll make some of those guys, because they're... Pretty much just wanted to walk around and look cool. Um, a portal, which you might uh, you might realize this is takes us right back to spawn. I've got it right up on the hill up here. I just realized I think that's Corrales over there. I think that's his his uh, portal. So this takes us right to spawn, which is really sweet, very easy to use because we have that from the portal gun that I found. I found the portal gun, not only a regular portal gun, but a portal gun with Gladys on it. Gladys in potato form. If you guys don't know portal, Gladys is the uh, the AI that's trying to kill you the whole time. And I think she actually talks to you if you hang on for long enough. But it's a, uh, yeah, she's a, at one point she kind of gets like messed up and she becomes, a, her AI is, in, is uh, in a potato. I don't know why the potato has a Santa hat on though. That I have no clue about. Oops, hello. Go back in here. This is the Schism's special stuff chest. So I was using all those and enchanted tons of books. Sharpness 5, Fire Aspect 2, Sword. Potency 3, which is pretty much like more damage for a wand. Charging, so it recharges itself. Uh, I have two repair books, which I think I'm going to throw one repair book on my boots because they're a sweet... And I'm going to throw another repair, maybe on that sword, so it never goes away. Um, so as you can see, guys, we have been very busy. I took all the chests from up top up here, moved them downstairs. Don't know what I'm going to do with this space uh, up here yet. Because um, I'm pretty sure, I don't know, man, if Juice is ever going to come back to the server. <laughs> I think Greg Tech scared him off for good. The reason I kind of cleared this out is because we're going to have a wizard's only club. Wizard's only entrance right over here. Trying to do something cool with this aluminum. If you've seen it at spawn, uh, Joe Hills has a great looking uh, like fin that he's made. 
What is going on over here, guys? All right, everyone chill. Everyone be cool. Oh yeah, this bow has uh, power five, infinity one on it. Probably gonna throw some punch on that bad boy. Maybe a little bit of flame, you know what I'm saying? But he did an awesome thing with the aluminum. The aluminum just has a very cool texture to it. I don't think it has too many uses. So what I think I'm gonna do here is I'm, I've been working with some designs. I wanna have the uh, aluminum ore, I think, wrap up around, spiral up around the uh, this silverwood tree. This is the biggest silverwood tree that I've ever seen in the game, by the way. It's far larger than any other silverwood tree that I've ever seen. So, I want to definitely work with this in some cool way. Um, and I kind of have like a little runway. Go, oh, and that's the thing. It looks like a runway, even though I don't want it to, of the uh, great wood logs. So I got to figure out something with that. Someone was saying if you put the silver wood down in the area, it'll reduce the flux. So I might outline these this part with silver wood and see how that looks. That might be cool. So we'll check it out and see. Uh, but for today, what are we going to do today? I actually have no idea what we're going to do today. Hello. There's also this zombie who lives somewhere around here. I have no idea where this dude is at. He seems like... I think he's through one of these walls or underneath me or something. I don't know. Um, so let's take a look at this over here. Got the brains. I've been researching... What have I been researching? The Arcane Levitator. Here's our problem on this server. Research notes. Wand of equal trade. I gotta finish that guy up. Uh, on the server, our chicken situation is horrible. So, for the Arcane Levitator, I need to research... More Volito. But Volito only comes from one thing, and that's feathers. It's supposed to also come from bows. If you make a bow, you throw it in there. But that's actually not working. I think it's bugged. Because if I if I make a bow, I've been making bows and trying to throw them in there, but they actually don't uh, they don't respond at all. So I think that's actually not correct. So that's kind of a pain in the neck. Cause I got it's holding me up on the research. And I've just been like researching other stuff in the meantime. I finally got the stupid <laughs> hungry chest one, which took me forever. Um, what else is cool up here? Got some knowledge fragments, which we'll need at one point. Uh, so yeah, now this area, I am welcoming design choice, design uh, ideas for down here. Take in anything at all, just throw them at me. What kind of material to use for the walls, the ceiling, and this back here is going to be kind of like the half secret entrance in like the wizard the wizard's entrance i'm thinking i think what an arcane levitator does is it just kind of moves you up automatically so i might put one of those here to lower the soften the blow falling down and uh make it so that the like you can just you can get up easy i think it, it'll raise um and then it's oh shit holy f Dude, that was totally not cool. Look how hard they hit these guys are. Oh, got him. Hit him once. Let's see if we can get it up close. Oh, our jetpack's out. That was, oh, dude, I thought I had him on that one. There we, oh. there we go, there we go. Dude, are you freaking kidding me? Oh my god. I went totally, totally silent after that because that scared the crap out of me. That was not cool. That was not cool at all. Oh man. Dude, by the way, I can jump over that. <laughs> Straight from land to land. Um, okay, so we have made the wisps mad, and the wisps are actually spawning now. Wow. How do we... How do we calm their flow over here? What's going on, dudes? Yeah, we're going to try putting that silverwood down. Uh, I'm going to make a cut here, guys, and bring you back in. I think what we're going to do... 
We're going to try to appease the wisps because they're pissed. We've got to charge our backpack back up. And we're going to figure out something with this. We will accomplish these things in this episode, I promise you. <laughs> we must make a sacrifice to the wisps. Um, yeah. Yeah. Because I don't want to get... <laughs> I don't want to get the crap scared out of me again. Look at that guy, man. He's so mad over there. Look at all the dark energy he's shooting off. Alright. We will be back soon. See you guys. I think our tasks are complete. Let's get, let's, let's take a peek here. Let's take a peek. I'm going to head back up to the portal. I've done a great thing, by the way. Um, enchanting my goggles. Re protection 4, respiration 3. I'm going to throw repair on these guys, too. Um, and this is going to be my walking around gear. The uh, Having respiration on there is awesome. And it's just funny because they don't cover your nose at all. Maybe that little bottom part does. Yeah, they do. Sweet. All right, actually makes sense then. <laughs> um, but the protection forward just give me a little bit of boosty, a little bit of extra, you know, because obviously these goggles are so very protective of my entire face. Um, we also got our backpack charged up, and then I used some of it. Um, I wonder if it would be cool if there were, like, another, like, jetpack enchant, like something like extra boost or I don't know, like, or if you could do attachments to it. That'd be badass if you could do attachments like a uh, like a weapon or something. Maybe like a drill so like you could Oh, that'd be cool. Like a drill so you can mine fast while you're in midair. Um okay, so dude, it's funny. Sometimes you'll just watch someone's video and just get, you know, all sorts of instant inspiration. And that's what happened with me. I watched a little bit of Goods video, his Feed the Beast video. And then I just decided to come back here and start working on this. Start actually finishing this area. So it's looking nice. Uh, what I did was I put some wood up here right above this lava. Because I needed to see if this lava... It burns you like normal lava. But I don't think it burns things like regular lava. It's weird because it's lava on the top and fire in the front. But there's a lava animation behind that. There's a lava... You can see the lava source block behind that. Hmm. Um, but yeah, I don't think it actually burns wood, because that, you know, is going to affect what I make the ceiling out of. Um, so let's take a peek here. Let's take a peek. We also managed to enchant, I'm sorry, not enchant, but uh, do some more research. So I got Sword of the Zephyr, which I'm going to beef up to be just like this guy, and then I think this sword will be better than this sword. Um, check this out. This thing is badass, dude. It used to have a thing just like Ghost Crash, where if you right-clicked with it, you would pounce. Like, I would just go for, like, from there to there. But now, when you right-click with it, it creates this force field around you. Watch this. Dude. Which does two things. It blocks projectiles, and it also blasts enemies and loose objects away from you. <laughs> so, that probably couldn't get any core. Um, but every time you use that right-click feature, it drains the, uh, the energy of the sword. I don't know if it repairs itself or not. I don't think it does. It may, it may actually. That, that actually looks less damaged than when I was screwing around with it last night. Hmm. We'll have to check into that. Um, but I have researched the... All of the... Badass Thomcraft tools. The hoe of growth. Get your hoe of growth. Hoe of growth. And then the shovel of the earth mover, which I'm sure is a badass shovel. And the sword of the zephyr. There's another pick right over here across from the f wand of frost, I think. Maybe there's five things. Maybe there's something off of the wand of fire and something off of the wand of frost. I'm actually not sure. I'll have to look into that. Um, but something that we're going to have to do very, very soon is set up a quarry. Um... We absolutely must have a quarry. They quarried out, like, the whole wasteland area over here, which I thought was cool at first, but now it's just kind of... Is... I mean, it's not, it's not a big deal or anything, but it just looks crappy over there now. Like, you can't walk over there now without falling in massive holes. And, you know, it's just giant square holes in the ground. It doesn't, like, look good, look cool or anything, like, when the quarries are there. So, we'll have to, uh, we'll have to find a spot for our own quarry. Probably out somewhere. Maybe if we ever had miscraft to this, well, obviously, we'll, that would make sense to the quarry there. But, oh, yeah, the last thing I wanted to show you guys, the last thing I wanted to show you guys was right over meow. 
something that I'm thinking about doing with this is maybe we'll keep using the aluminum, maybe not, I'm not sure. Uh, I do like the way it looks though, but I'm actually spiraling the aluminum up and around the tree as if it's like, like growing around it, which I think is a pretty cool look. I have to place some of these guys in different areas so they look better. Um, but I think I like this because like I was saying before, this is the biggest, it's the biggest, uh, silverwood tree I've ever seen. Silverwood tree, of course, a piece of thumbcraft. So it's something else incredible. Uh, I researched the warded, warded blocks. So now this is that warded glass. It's unbreakable to anyone, even me, except if I, the only way it can be broken is if I use one of my wands on it. Then it just pop, pops right off. Um, so that's really sweet. And what I did was I encased this in the warded glass. I think when I get more of these blocks, obviously I'm going to need a floor in here. And I don't know if I'm going to make it so it's actually impenetrable. Uh, that might just be a pain in the ass as far as resources go. Um, and as far as practicality goes... Because then, like, if you actually want your base to be impenetrable, you have to, because it's Minecraft and everything can be broken, you would have to put worded blocks around your entrance all the way down. I'd have to encase this completely in worded blocks. I had to encase all of this completely in worded blocks. And I'd have to encase all of my Thalmcraft area completely in worded blocks. So I don't think that's practical at all. Um, and obviously, like, no one's coming in and stealing our crap. So I think we're just going to do it uh, so it looks good, not so it actually functions in any special way, but that'll be cool. Um, so I think what we're going to be doing next, uh, we're going to be keep continuing to pretty up this area. And all I did with over here was added the cobble. It looks awesome. It looks really good. So we still got to figure out walls and ceiling. And I think we're going to let Joe handle this half uh, whenever he starts, starts up on Feed the Beast regularly. Um... Because right now, the kind of the only times he's jumping on are like if we do something, and he'll do an episode here and there, but not a, not as consistent, uh, I think, as he wants to be yet. So, and I think he may actually jump into the industrial craft two stuff. So that'd be nice, because then that'll uh, that'll help us get to our quarry state faster, because we need resources. I mean, right now, we just have whatever we found, and like I'm running out of stuff, like all the shards. We have like you know barely anything. Um, yeah, we, like iron. We don't have the iron. <laughs> it's just stupid. So we'll have to figure that out. Uh, but I think what we're going to be doing soon is finishing up beautifying this area. We're going to add, uh, at some point, arcane bellows and figure out, like, completely figure out our system. Because obviously I have these hungry chests so that he goes... Wait, hang on. Where does he need to go? What cooks? If I throw a corn kernel in here, does that cook? Let's check it out. Yeah. So I need my hungry chest to be right there. Yeah. How about if he is one block to the front? Nope. Okay. So he needs to be right in front, which is fine. So we got him here. We got him here. Uh, we're gonna have a hungry chest in front of each one, and maybe some sort of piping system, so I can just like deposit items into a receptacle, and it'll take them up and drop them into the furnaces. We'll have to see about that. Um, or just I'm gonna make some sort of like little catwalk area, so I can run up and like right click them into some sort of hopper or something. I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll be back later on with some more Feed the Beast. Leave a like if you like the video. As always, it helps us YouTubers out immensely. So, uh, yeah, thanks, guys. We'll see you later.